Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the history of the language and words we use every day. If you're interested in history and language, subscribe and click the little bell so you never miss a word. My family got some new pets this Christmas, and it turns out the origin of the word rat isn't that well understood. So let's explore. Rat, noun, a medium-sized, long-tailed rodent, also used as an insult against traitors. Etymology. Every resource I looked at about the origin of the word rat has been just a flood of cognates from Germanic languages and stating that the origin of the word rat is unknown. A, a cognate is a word with the same meaning, and it came from the same root, but in different languages. Here are some of the cognates, just to give you an idea of the variation between the languages. Rat, rato, rate, rota. And it's generally just assumed that it entered English from Germanic. But looking at the Romance languages like Italian, French, and Spanish, all the words sound similar. Ratus, raturus, rata, rate. One factor that makes the origin of the word so confusing is that there is no written evidence of the word until the end of the first millennium. One theory is that the word entered the Germanic languages first as an imitation of the sound of gnawing, like rats chewing on wood. Then it spread to Germanic languages and into the Romance languages. But there's no solid evidence of where it originated, and it could have been reverse from the Romance to the Germanic. Now, what's interesting is even the Proto-Indo-European word for scrape, scratch, or gnaw is raid. And this word came to become the ultimate origin of the word rodent in English. History. Now let's discuss a little bit of the history behind rats and how they became pets. Jack Black was one of the most famous rat catchers in history. He worked in England during the middle of the 19th century. He billed himself as the rat catcher to the queen, though there's no real evidence that he ever worked for royalty. And one of his hobbies, aside from catching these teeny pests, was breeding them. Anytime he would catch a rat that was particularly interesting with its coloring and its patterns, he would keep them alive and breed them instead of killing them or selling them for rat baiting. I'll let you know more about rat baiting here in a moment. These new varieties of rats he would breed, he would then sell, usually, as he put it, to well-bred young ladies to keep in squirrel cages. Eventually, fancy rats, as they were called, became so popular that even Queen Victoria herself is said to have kept a rat or two. Now. One of the other places Jack would sell the less desirable rats was to sportsmen's clubs for something called rat baiting. Rat baiting was a game where they would put a bunch of rats into a small pit and all the spectators would place bets on how long it would take a rat terrier, that's where they got their name, how long it would take that rat terrier to kill all the rats in the pit. So this is how Jack Black would dispose of all the rats he would catch. And of course, Jack would sell the rats, these fancy rats, as souvenirs to the spectators of this sport, or for them to take home to their daughters when they got home. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, or you feel like you've learned something, please leave a like, and share it with your friends. And until next time, keep on learning.